Adobe Presenter 10 is a rapid authoring tool that allows you to create stunning HD training videos and interactive e-learning courses from your PowerPoint slides. Let's see what's new in Adobe Presenter 10. The most stunning feature in Adobe Presenter 10 is its ability to publish to HTML5 format. In this course, you can in include any of the PowerPoint objects like text, image, tables, uh, animations, smart art and shapes. And you can also include quiz questions. So here you can see that I have added a few quiz questions and it works pretty well in the HTML5 format. To publish it to an HTML5 format, all you have to do is click publish and select either HTML5 or both. If you want them to access the Swift version on the desktop and HTML5 on their tablet devices, go ahead and use both and it will intelligently remember the bookmarking for your courses. Now let's look at the Presenter Video Express. You can see that it has an all new UI with uh, this landing page. If you are visiting uh, Presenter Video Express for the first time, you will get this landing page where you can see some uh, demo uh, videos which have been uh, recorded using Adobe Presenter 10. And once you start creating your projects, you will be shown this particular view, which is the project view. To record a video, just click this green button and it will get you to the recording interface where you just have to click the record button as you did in presenter 8 and 9 and start recording your videos. To start editing your videos, all you have to do is double click the project that you have recorded and start working with it. In presenter 10, we've added some brand new themes like cubes, glow glow. You can use these intro and outro videos to give a professional look and feel to your videos. Also with Adobe Presenter 10, you can now add multiple lower third text. So if in one video you have multiple presenters, you can add uh, lower third text for all those presenters. We've also made switching the layout super simple by uh, making it a three button interface. Yellow is for you, green is for screen and blue is for both. Uh, to switch to a different layout, all you have to do is click the green button and click the blue button. The blue button is a toggle button. Uh, by default, it will give you presenter at the left. But if you want presenter at the right and you are in the blue area, just go ahead and click it once again and you will get presenter at the right. And thereafter, in your video, you will have presenter at the right. And at any point in time you want to get back to presenter at left, just click it once more and it will give you presenter at the left side. We've made it even more simpler for you. If you want to extend this layout to a little longer or a little um, shorter, just go ahead and drag these uh, handles and it will allow you to reduce or increase the size of this layout. Also, if you want to just delete a particular layout and you had added it by mistake, just extend the layout and it will uh, remove that particular layout for you. You can also add pan and zoom here. These uh, pan and zoom areas are easily movable on the screen. So you can move them at any part of the screen. We've improved the trim workflow also quite a bit. Just click the trim button and you will get the plus button on the timeline. Just click it and allow it to play. As soon as you feel that this is the point where you want to stop trimming it just click the pause button or the space bar on your keyboard and it will stop and you will see a sign here to commit to the changes when you click this area will be marked for deletion also what you can do is even after marking it for deletion you can easily increase or decrease the duration of this deleted area we've also made some more changes in the analytics dashboard so that you can get better reports for your students you can also uh, find out how your students are performing based on the concepts that you have taught to them you can now also generate SRT files for your videos uh, using this option. So changing it instead of embed, changing it to external and it will generate an SRT file for you, which you can use for localization or adding it separately for your videos. So this and much more with Adobe Presenter 10. Go ahead and give it a spin.